Hi, my name is David and today we're looking at Magic Motion. Brought into uh, Paradirector, a selection of still images taken with a digital camera. Let's bring one down to the timeline and quickly run through the procedure to use Magic Motion. Click on the Magic Motion button found down on the left hand side. Magic Motion has a selection of templates to choose from. Click on one of them and you will see it being applied. By moving the slider along you can see the effect. Click on another and again immediately applied to the clip. Move the slider and you can see the effect. This goes back to the pan. Move the slider along and then let's select Motion Designer. Let's look at the user interface of the Magic Motion Designer. This is where we make motion design changes. Changes made are also displayed in the preview window. The motion path is shown when the slider is moved. Motion design changes here will involve altering the frame size to create a zoom effect from a specific point in the video to a full screen display. The finish point of a full screen is first set. At the start of design, the frame is reduced in size and repositioned. The motion path is now extended and positioned. The preview window will display the finished motion design effect. The key frames here are the start and finish of the motion design project. Returning to the media library, and we have that little clip we've just created. Let's now expand upon something else. Bring one of our colorful images down and see what we can achieve. Go straight to the magic motion button, press it. What should we do? Should we go for a flip and turn round? It's your call. Bring up magic motion again, designer again. As you see, we have a slight movement. Watch the area just here. How about flipping it all the way around? Simply by clicking the button. Customize the rotation effect. Rotation settings. Clockwise movement. Counterclockwise with these buttons. Click to make a change. Or highlight and type in a figure. Then click return. Move it through the slider. And it's almost as though we're in outer space. And the horizon we see is now upside down. That can be quite an effect. We'll say OK for that. Again we're back in media library. We'll bring another image down. What should we do with this one? Click on the magic motion button. It says U current, ooh, U tight current. Perhaps that's something we want. Let's play through that. Let's have a look at it in Magic Motion. It has a keyframe. A keyframe button is an editing point along the motion path. A motion designer editor, by placing a keyframe in the motion path, change the size, the direction, alter the speed and angle of an image file. To put a keyframe in all you have to do is go down to this little point here and click on one. And we'll have another keyframe just there so we click plus. Look at the distortion we're creating. Can we drag it out? Yes we can. We can make it go up in the air like an S. Wasn't that easy to arrange. 
Take a closer look. Almost on a fairground slide, up and down and around. What else can we do? We could, if we wanted to, put some twist in it. Let's try that through. Perhaps we want to shrink it down a little bit more. Very easy to manipulate. How about th the keyframe? Should we move it somewhere else? Hover your, cur hover your cursor over the top of it and move it. How about removing that keyframe? Let's move the slider along to that point and hit the minus button. And we remove it. Next for Magic Motion is a panoramic image. Click the Magic Motion icon. We want Pan and Zoom. So we've applied Pan and Zoom, just flick through it. Not quite what we're after. Let's change it in Magic Designer. Now to set Motion Path. Should we go from right to left? Yes, I think so. That's the start point, and that's the end point. The end point is now what we're on. So we want to end up over there, and we want to start on the right hand side. Let's move it all the way to the right. Move this one to the left. Looks like we have to expand out the the frame area. A little bit of manipulation, not too difficult to do. There you go, job done. Let's play th that through. Or shall we use a slider, it's quicker. Look on the top left hand side. Are now panning the horizon. That's all because we've got four images stitched together as a panorama. Click OK and the job's done. Extend the duration of a clip if you want it to go through slowly. If we increase this to 30 seconds from 5 seconds, our pan across the horizon is that much slower and is much more effective. Finished Magic Motion files can be part of your video or they can be produced separately. It's edited with PowerDirector 7 Magic Motion.